The overall goal of this method is to evaluate the activity of potential antifungal compounds using a modification of the broth microdilution susceptibility test used in clinical laboratories. This method is useful to evaluate the antifungal activity of natural or synthetic compounds, one of the first steps in the development of better antifungal therapies. We provide instructions for an initial screen for new antifungals using small volumes in a short time, especially if the experiments are carried out with automation. Demonstrating the procedure will be Danielle Zamich Miranda, a postdoctoral fellow in my laboratory. Begin this procedure by growing the fungal strains for the assay, as described in the text protocol. On the following day, collect the cells by centrifuging the conical tubes at 1200 G for 5 minutes at room temperature. Discard the supernatant, add 10 milliliters of PBS to each tube, and resuspend the cells. Centrifuge again at 1200 G for 5 minutes at room temperature. Repeat the PBS wash and centrifugation two more times. After the third wash, resuspend the cells in 5 milliliters of double strength RPMI 1640 medium. Depending on the turbidity of the cell suspension, prepare 1 milliliter of a 1 to 100 or 1 to 1000 dilution of each strain in a micro centrifuge tube. Aliquot 10 microliters of this dilution. Place it in a hemocytometer chamber and count the total number of cells in the four corner quadrants.